This video has two more facts for the intersections and unions that I missed in the last video. So this one is the fact that if you take A union B, and then you take the complement of all of that, what are you going to get? So for these, I find it easier to just start drawing and then see if it matches up to what it's supposed to be. So if this is A, this is B, it says we start with A union B. So A union B, that is anything in A or B or both. So we just colored everything in here in green, this A or B or both. Now for the complement of that, which is actually what we're interested in, it would be everything that was not in A or B or both. So basically everything that's not in those two circles. So we're radiating out from the two circles. So that, this red, is what we're actually interested in for this problem. Okay, now let's come over here and try this other one and see if that matches. So here we have A and B. So we want to find A complement intersect B complement. So A complement would be everything radiating out from A, everything that's not an A. And B complement is everything radiating out from B. Let's see, that's not quite right there. So everything outside of B. So that does include some A, just everything going out like a sun from B. Okay. But what we're interested in here is the intersection, which is what do these things have in common? Well, they don't have this main circle part of A in common because there's only green. They don't have B in common because there's only blue. What do they have in common? All of the stuff that's outside of A and outside of B. So they've circled everything that's outside of the two circles. Notice, again, here, the red is what we were interested in. Everything outside the two circles, everything outside the two circles. So if you take the group of A union B and then find the complement, that is the same as A complement intersect B complement. Now, these might not seem too interesting to you yet. If you ever get into doing some proofs, we often do use some of these rules. They're useful for doing proofs. What I expect from you in this class is not that you can do all of the proofs, but that you can kind of understand the logic of this. So if I said draw something like this, you can kind of draw it out and understand that logic. So the next one is A intersect B. Once you do that, then take the complement. That should be equal to A complement union B complement. These two are actually a fairly famous rule for the facts, the fact that you can kind of like flip flop this if that makes sense. Like if you take the complement of a union it's actually an intersection and the complement of an intersection is actually a union. Kind of just an interesting fact. So we'll draw it out again just like before. So here's A, here's B. So we're supposed to start with the intersection which would be this blue part right here. That's A intersect B. Now we want the complement of that. So the complement of that will actually be everything outside of that. So that actually includes most of A and most of B and everything outside of those. Oh, and this part too. So most of A, most of B, everything outside of A or B, just not that one little part. So in this case, that green is our final thing. So we found the intersection and then found everything else. My arm goes. Now coming over here. My arm goes there, Mommy. We have, again, A and B. We're supposed to find A complement and B complement and then find the union. So A complement would be everything going out from A, like this. And B complement would be everything going out from B, again, just like the sun here. Okay, and now for our green, for what we really want to hey, show, mommy. we're supposed to find the union. Hey, so that's anywhere where I have this teal or the yellow. So anything coming out from A would be included. Okay. Let's see, anything coming out from B would be included. And it looks like I've included everything except for that one little chunk. So coming over here, I included everything except for that one little chunk here. I've included everything except for that one little chunk. And so you can see that they match.